Hey, welcome to Mad English TV. Which sentence is correct? I am learning English since 2012, or I have been learning English since 2012. Which one do you think is correct? This is a really common mistake in English. This one is correct. Okay, so this lesson is about the present perfect continuous verb tense. And we use this tense when we're talking about a period of time before now. It could be a very short period of time, or it could be a very long period of time, but we're describing this period of time before now. Okay, for example, I have been learning English since 2012. Okay, we're describing this period. Now, if you've been learning English since 2012, then you're probably going to continue learning English in the future, right? You're probably going to continue over here. But in this verb tense, we're not talking about this period. We're not including this period in the verb tense. We're just, we're describing this period over here. Okay, so you can forget about this. We're just talking about this period in the past. Okay, so that's different than the present continuous verb tense because in the present continuous tense, we're now and we're talking about this period of time around now, right? So that's different than the present perfect continuous because in that we're just talking about the period before now. Okay, so in this one you could say, I am learning English. I'm learning English these days, okay? Past and future. Okay, so I think this is one of the most underused verb tenses uh, by English learners. Native speakers use this verb tense a lot, but I, I don't hear English learners using this verb tense very much. So there's a pretty big gap here. I think this is probably the verb tense that has the biggest gap between native speakers and non-native English speakers. You know, some verb tenses, we don't really use that much. Um, for example, the past perfect continuous tense. I had been learning English. We don't really use that verb tense very much. Okay, so if you never use it, it's probably not a big deal. But this one, the present perfect continuous, we use that one a lot. And so if you can try to use it a little bit more, that would be great. Okay, so let's take a look at how to make this verb tense and then I'll give you some examples so you can see how much we actually use this in English. Okay, so to make the present perfect continuous, we use have plus been. Okay, that's present perfect. If it was past perfect, it would be had been. If it was future perfect, it would be will have been, okay? And continuous tenses always have ing on the main verb. Okay, for example, he has been learning vocabulary. Okay, maybe for the past week. He said, I'm going to learn vocabulary. So, he has been learning vocabulary. Okay, have can turn to has, but been always stays been, okay? Um, they have been staying with us for five days. Okay, that means they have been staying at our house for five days. Maybe your cousins are visiting. Then you could say, yeah, my cousins have been staying with us for five days. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples. So let's say your internet stops working. Then I might ask you, did you call the internet company? And you could say, yeah, I've been trying to call them, but I can't get through. Okay? It means you have been trying to call them, maybe for 10 minutes, maybe for two hours. Okay? But you can't get through. It means they're not picking up the phone. You keep, you're trying to get through to them, but they're not answering their phone. Okay? So, here's another example. How long have you been fasting for? Fasting means when you intentionally don't eat. Okay, you give up eating for a period of time. It could be for health reasons, or it could be for medical reasons, 
it could be for religious reasons okay for example if you go to the doctor and the doctor um, sends you for a blood test okay then on the piece of paper it might say fasting required it might say you need to fast for five hours before the blood test or maybe for different procedures you might have to fast for 12 hours or 24 hours okay so uh, it can also be for religious reasons for example Muslims have a whole month of fasting called Ramadan where they fast every day from morning till evening every day for for a whole month so that's a long time so fasting is when you choose uh, to give up food or to or to not have food for some reason so how long have you been fasting for you know maybe you've been fasting for a day a week a month okay that'd be a long a month is a long time especially if you don't eat anything for a whole month I think probably the longest time anyone has fasted for well you need water people need water you know to live but you could probably go I met a guy who who didn't eat food for a month for 30 days he didn't eat any food and he lost a lot of weight he was a little bit a little bit bigger before he started and after 30 days I mean, he was so skinny so he didn't he didn't eat any food for the whole time but he drank and all he drank was water some people go on a juice fast so like if 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 you're having stomach problems or something then you know you might go on a juice fast to sort of take the take the weight take the burden and the pressure off your digestive system okay so there's a lot of different kinds of fasting so let's look at another example my wife has been telling me to lose weight but I don't want to stop eating burgers and drinking beer okay so this guy's wife has been telling him to lose weight maybe for a month maybe for 10 years maybe for 50 years maybe she keeps telling him you should stop you should stop drinking beer and eating burgers but he doesn't listen to his wife because he loves burgers and beer too much okay let's take a look at another example I've been visiting my grandma quite a bit lately yeah I've been visiting my grandma quite a bit lately maybe she's in the hospital or maybe she's been sick so I've been visiting my grandma quite a bit lately lately you know it's open to interpretation it could mean a month it could mean a week mean maybe six months I don't know lately just the period of time recently before now okay I've been waiting for this moment my whole life look at that they won the World Cup if you win the World Cup you might say I've been waiting for this moment my whole life or if you got married you know you could say I have been waiting for this moment my whole life finally the moment has arrived okay a wife could ask her husband how long have the kids been playing video games for you know and maybe he would say they've been playing video games for two hours then she might say hmm maybe they should go play outside for a while okay so how long have been playing okay so here we have the present perfect continuous tense as well so let's do some homework I want you to do two things to make a statement and ask a question using the present perfect continuous tense okay I'll give you an example I have been teaching English for several years how long have you been learning English for okay so post your homework down in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV take care